are some people who, at the ripe young age of 48 years old, have just accomplished so much, right? Like Derek Jeter, right? Ooh. Alanis Morissette, Jimmy Fallon, Bradley Cooper. I mean, I can't even count the number of nominations he's had for awards for his work. Um, Dale Earnhardt. They, these guys are all 48 years old, and they have just done so much in their lives, right? And then you have Sarah Hartsfield. She's collected five husbands, and two of them are dead. She's behind bars right now, and she is charged with the murder of number five, Joseph Hartsfield, who died in the hospital on January 15th. She, this could have been under the radar, right? Like he was diabetic, and his insulin was way up, and uh, he just was not coming to, and ultimately he died, and then, uh-oh, they found a whole bunch of insulin pens beside his bed and said, you didn't call 911 for a long time. She's got some arguments to make as well. But they gave her a $5 million bond, and then they only lowered it to 4.5 when she asked, and she said, I can't make that. And then she, she tried to kill herself, it turns out. So she's now on suicide watch inside the jail. She, she apparently tried to use a pencil sharpening blade. You think about a pencil sharpener, it's so teeny tiny, but she got the blade out somehow. Superficial wound, she didn't even get hospitalized, she's fine, but she's on suicide watch. And it turns out it's not the first time that a partner in her life ended up dead. Five years ago, she shot her husband dead, and the police determined it was self-defense, but now they're taking a whole new look at it. They've reopened the case on that one. She's got a few other husbands as well who've said some things about her, like scary, like I'm glad I'm alive. I didn't know I'd survive. Here's a little background. She was in the Army, she served for a year in the late 90s. She was in the Army Reserve from 98 to 2007. Uh, she was a motor transport operator. She was an intelligence analyst. She deployed to Iraq for not quite a year. Her final rank was Sergeant First Class. That's not bad. She's lived in 39 different countries. First three husbands were in the army as well. And I am joined by husband number one, who is kind enough to join me tonight uh, and talk a little bit about this woman who has a very strange mystery and a very strange story. Uh, Titus Kinnernshield is with me now. Titus, were you surprised when you heard that Sarah Hartsfield uh, had been arrested because of um, what they say is a murder? Uh, not overall, no. Uh, it's in her nature. Uh, she's killed before. Uh, when I lived with her, I feared for my life. So, no, I was what? just upset to hear another man had died. I, I, I'm so sorry to hear that. And um, what did you think about five years ago when the story broke that she had shot David Bragg? That's husband. Uh, actually, that was her fiance between husband two and three. Did you suspect uh, anything untowards at that time? Uh, so I thought that finally she was going to get herself caught for who she is. Uh, she was able to weasel her way out of that one and make hus that fiance look like a bad, abusive person when it's actually her that's the terrible person. Uh, tell me a little bit about the how she kind of reappeared in your life um, after you had been separated and you had moved on in your life. I think you maybe even had remarried or certainly, yeah, you'd remarried. What happened when all of a sudden she showed up again? Uh, so she would continuously show up into my life. Uh, you'd think she was gone. I have no children with her. There was no reason to be with her at all. And she would call our house and pester me, pester my wife. Uh, came, I was in the service, came back from Germany, got stationed at Fort Hood where she was also. And she showed up in my motor pool uh, with stories of trying to give me stuff back that she kept uh, just to find out it was a scheme to try to get me to be with her. Uh, she threatened my family when I was uh, in Oklahoma, and my family was still in Fort Hood area, telling them that there she's going to be stopping by his friends close. Did you get? So it's just did you a, get a protective order? I, I mean, that would that would drive me to go to the judge and say, "Give me some paperwork about this." So, for the military side, I uh, as, as I outranked her, and I went through both of our commands, and I was able to get a no contact order. It's 
a military form of a protective order. Uh, meant so that she could not contact myself or my family. Once she was out, that was null and void. Uh, she's very intelligent on how she does things. So trying to get a judge to give me a no con uh, or a protective order would have been very difficult. So five marriages plus a fiance, the fiance is dead. So two dead bodies uh, in, in her wake. Do you suspect there could be any other victims that we don't know about? It's possible, but it would just be total speculation on my part. Well, I am certainly glad you are with us. And, um, you know, I suppose we'll wait till trial to find out what the further details of this are. And then, of course, the investigation into David Bragg that has now been reopened. But um, thank you, Titus Knurchill. I really appreciate you joining us to, to shed some light on this story. Yes, ma'am. Good to be here. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.